Okay, so today we're working on a 2019 Ream 50 gallon gas hot water tank. So the initial call was the flame went out. Well, the initial call was actually no hot water. So I lit this pilot yesterday, got a call back, wasn't staying lit. So we're going to come in, we're going to turn this gas regulator on the off position. Just touching the flu. Um, just to make sure it's not hot, which it's not. Um, that's why a lot of toxins from the flame is going to shoot out the top. Pop that cover off. Peel back that insulation. This procedure is uh, really, really easy. They were Philip heads. Looks like it's a star bit. So we're pretty much pulling off the glass plate cover. Um, gonna loosen up three nuts so we can get access to our burner thermocoupler and igniter there we go turn that gas off Alright, so that, that orange cord, um, that cord goes to the manually, the manual igniter. When you press down on that black button, it actually creates a spark. Uh, we'll see that uh, device in a second. You can grab some your channel locks or a crescent wrench. And so the line I'm actually working on right there, that is the pilot gas line so you can hit that a little bit lefty loosey righty tighty so just turn it to the left and you should be able to do the rest with your fingers so when you hold down the pilot the gas line the gas just flows through that line while you're pressing down that uh the igniter this big line is the main gas line coming off of gas regulator that's going to be for your your main burner and this last one here is going to be to our flame sensor flame sensor or thermocoupler whatever one y'all want to call it so what that what that does is it detects the flame so if it doesn't detect flame, it's going to tell your, your gas regulator to turn off so you're not pumping natural gas in the house. And that's the component that we're after right now today is that flame sensor. Sometimes they get corroded, they get burnt up over time. I mean, it's always under constant, constant heat. So once, once it's not detected in the heat, it's gonna tell them burners to turn off. And once they turn off, no hot water. So I just take my channel locks, I wiggle it a little loose. Then you can kinda gently press it from the top. And she should slide on out. Like I say, this unit isn't that old, so. And all you do at this point is you get you some sandpaper and you get the rubbing. You want to scratch that surface off real good, nice and clean. Get all that corrosion and build up on there. And once that thing is nice and clean, as soon as it detects the flame, it's going to tell your gas regulator to stay open 
keep pumping gas and we're burning. So for all y'all out there that's having pilot issues, the flame is going out, it's either going to be a clogged gas line or an internal leak. But it's a 90% chance you have a dirty flame sensor. So you can go ahead and pop that back in. Pop that back in until it snaps. That white part right there, that is your, your spark igniter. And the other tube is your, your pilot gas line. And of course the big circle is where the main gas comes in to turn on your big burner. And like I say all the time, put it back the same way you took it off. Very simple and easy, do it yourself. Don't over tighten anything, you know, make sure it's a quarter quarter turn pass snug, half a turn pass snug. cable back in there turn your knob on pilot hold it down hit that click a few times and you should be able to see your pilot there it goes so right now that pilot is lit it's putting flame on our flame sensor that we just cleaned once that flame sensor detects flame and release your finger like I just did and it'll still allow gas to flow. If that flame sensor is bad, you won't be able to release your finger and gas to flow. So once that gas is on, you turn that thing on on and you will see the burners kick on. That's what you want for a pilot that that keeps going out. Now in this in this case, in this specific case, we have a bigger issue. So if you watch closely the flame is going to start to turn orange. I don't know if you guys can hear it on the camera, but after further inspection, it's an internal leak that's constantly dripping, which this tank is under manufacturer's warranty. Um, but it's an internal leak that's continuously dripping on our pilot and it's putting it out. So I just heard my first drop. And if you look in there, you can start to see the flame change colors. So whenever you see that flame changing colors, something's not right. Let's see if I can turn the camera around and get a better, a better angle. But this method is still good for a pilot that's continuously going out. Pull that cover off, get that flame sensor out, clean that thing off, put it back in. There it goes. That should not be happening. There it goes again. So every time it's changing colors, that's a drop coming down. It's a drop of water coming down. Alright, see y'all in the next one.